hello hello good evening everyone we're meeting after a very very long time hope everyone is doing well and fine today we're going to have a lovely chat with the uh, chintan sarda he is a director of this lovely short film called the broken table Chintan is here with us, and we're going to begin our chat soon with him. Hello, hi, Chintan. Hello. Good. How are you, How are you Good. doing? Is it? Good. Is this your first live? <laughs> it is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> the many of us. Yeah. We welcome you to this uh, live show, live session, to talk about your wonderful, wonderful film, The Broken Table. uh i was telling everyone that it's currently streaming uh, at the banda film festival and large and short films um guys it's, it's an amazing film please do watch it uh not uh you know for anything else but uh, for the the superb direction uh, the amazing acting and uh, also the film reaching the oscars long list so um i leave it to you chintan tell us more about the film how was it conceptualized what where did the idea originate you know so many times a film is based on real life experiences of us so is this one of those first of all thank you so much for uh, curating the film and uh, you know having me here it's uh, i've yeah. i've actually attended few of bandra film festival events uh, one one of them at soho and oh, uh, i really i really think even you guys doing a great job in supporting thank independent you. cinema thank and you. Uh, So thank really you, appreciate you. this. Thank you. And uh, so yeah, Broken Table journey started a few years back actually. Okay. Uh, a friend of mine, Ruchira, she uh, had just told me about this one incident. She had heard about uh, someone who was going through Alzheimer's, and uh, he had actually forgotten how, uh, forgotten the fact that his wife had passed away. So on that a daily basis, sense. he actually went through that pain like it was fresh pain, right. and he actually loved his wife a lot. so mm-hmm. that was very heartbreaking that was very uh, yeah. like, you know i i couldn't imagine even going through that yeah. pain so that stayed with me that you know i mm-hmm. uh, i i didn't know if that would become a story or you know it would become a character in one of the stories but uh, and i didn't know how to use that even if it was very engaging for me i didn't know how to use that because imagine a character who resets every few minutes how do you like have a arc of you you know how do you do anything with that but uh, eventually you know in the story that uh, we developed me and vikram gupta who was my co-writer uh, the story that we developed he ended up becoming a catalyst of sort in the protagonist's uh, journey right. so uh, then finally we had a story which you who which you were excited about and uh, you know it it kind of worked out and how it worked out and how i think uh, the learnings that one gets from the broken table is just fantastic because you know it's not just about the person who's going through that condition it's about the caregiver also at the same time you know how she uh, you know opens up and also realizes so many things about herself which i think as an audience you you realize lots of stuff about ourselves and the way you have uh, you know written it uh, along with vikram of course and you know really conceptualized the story and made it into this 24 minute uh, you know amazing masterpiece and of course you know the actors they they really uh, brought out a lot of uh, emotion so effectively how was it working with nasir uh, sir and rasika it was amazing i mean nasir sir obviously is a legend and rasika is also a very accomplished actor yes. uh, who is really rising and uh, it was amazing to just watch their process up close and uh, to you know just i mean i learned so much just being in the rehearsal uh, right. you know rehearsals with them and just the kind of questions they would ask the kind of things they would want to know more about the character or the back story or the motivations that made me think a lot more and you know get more nuances and yeah. develop uh, you know uh, things which would be essential to the scene in question not just developing back story for the heck of it but uh, so yeah it, it was great to you know just uh, bounce ideas off them you know sometimes uh, sometimes we would even have disagreements and we would you know kind of okay. uh, you know it uh, and 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 I'm glad because you know that I, I think every creative process should have that you know it, it yes. can't be uh, 
uh, just one way of someone who's more experienced, you know, deciding things because you know that may not always be the best for the project sometimes. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, and and you have to fight for the right reasons. You have to fight for you know the yeah. creative choices that one wants to make. So yeah, it 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 was overall just personally and professionally a very interesting experience for me. And uh, these actors were just brilliant to you know just collaborate with, and I hope mm-hmm. I get to work with them uh, in other mm-hmm. projects as well. We hope uh, to. to see a lot of stuff coming from your side with them because i think the the whole synergy between you and the actors was really coming through uh was there anything in particular that stands out currently you know in your memory uh about the film and about you know in relation to the inputs that you got from nasir sir and rasika any anecdotes that you know you'd like to share uh anecdotes uh i mean it's been a while since we shot this so you know this was shot uh, just after the i mean we we were actually prepping for it before the uh, pandemic and you know then the right. lockdown happened yeah. so we couldn't shoot it for some time so in fact right. the rehearsals and just the discussion yeah. for it went on for years okay. because we had the time and okay. uh, you know we explored a lot of different angles and a lot of different things which maybe yeah. otherwise we wouldn't have yeah. so i think it really helped it yeah. really helped and yeah. uh, i think one of the, the the best learnings for me uh, was you know when i saw the seats up you know When, even when we would have a very serious disagreement, and uh, and he would kind of say that this is not happening for sure, and we are not going here, and and then when one would give a point of view where why this is a better way to go or why this, yeah. uh, you know, if there's a conviction or there's a profound reasoning behind something, and yeah. and and if he finds it uh, reasonable and if he finds it you know uh, good enough. then he would just uh, agree and he would be like you know you know what you're right uh, this is good so it, it was amazing to see him you know being such a you know such a huge uh, uh, actor the, the the stature that he's uh, you know achieved yeah. after that to have that humility to have that uh, you know think yeah. that okay you know what 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 works is works you know it it, yeah. uh, it it's not about ego it's not about you know yeah. experience it's it's about what's best yeah. for the story for the yeah. for this character yeah. so so yeah just just uh, you know uh, being being a learner So yeah. yeah. I think I should put my phone on airplane that's mode. Okay. That's okay. Um, yeah. So that's that's really good to know. Yeah, like he he kind of you know was your partner in terms of getting a scene. How how long did it take uh, um, um, to shoot the entire? Sorry, film? Uh, sorry. Could you repeat the last uh, bit? Uh, Yeah, sure, sure. I think the audio went. Uh, I was asking how long did it take for the to shoot the entire film? How many days? We just uh, we just shot in two days. Uh, yeah. We it it was it was one location and it it was challenging. Uh, obviously, uh, since it's twenty three minutes, so we're talking about you know eleven minutes plus screen time in a day, which uh, is is quite challenging. But uh, yeah. since it was one location and uh, you know I mean these actors are obviously very experienced and you know uh, so that helped a yeah. lot. but uh, yeah i mean my last film we actually had we shot with a screen time of around 7 minutes per day okay. which was also very challenging but we had a lot of location shifting and uh, we yeah. shot in balad we shot in film city but this one was thankfully we didn't really have to do uh, you know that much shifting yeah. but but still you know to because there were a lot of uh, discussions which would happen there were a lot of you know new things which you would try on the set Yeah. So yeah, it, I mean, I would ideally like to have more, uh, you know, more time, uh, like like time. a better shooting ratio in my future projects. I mean, <laughs> minutes is is a lot to shoot in a day. I But, think if uh, this is the product, this is the outcome. I think Chintan, your your time to shoot would become even lesser because in two days, if this is the product, then I think. Please don't tell my future producers that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I would. I would like a comfortable shoot. <laughs> I know every director would want a comfortable shoot to go to rerun to have it in their mind again and again. You know, play that out. So yeah. of course, no, it, that it, that's understandable. Good have, it's good yeah. to have some leeway. You know, I mean, it's yeah. because you know, uh, I mean, if Nasir Sir and Tasika, you know, yeah. they they could even yeah. if we tried a different direction, you know, it was not difficult yeah. for them to move to that yeah. direction immediately and yeah. pivot and, yeah. and you know, because yeah. they're that evolved as actors. Yeah. But it's it's it may not be possible for everyone. It may not be possible yeah. for you know, like sometimes for technical reasons you need more takes. Sometimes you know yeah. uh, the lighting uh, would take yeah. so much time. Yeah. So it, I mean, it's uh, I would not romanticize this idea of oh, you know achieving so much in a day. I would I would like to you know let's let's take the time we need to do it properly. Yeah. You know that's that's how Correct. I would try to do it. Correct. Absolutely. The dialogues were really uh, you know that really touched. a lot you know the, especially the part about the broken table you know that's where the title comes from so you know i was wondering as to why you kept the name broken table because there is no such thing that's happening uh, uh, you know visually in the in in the film 
but uh, you know when that incident happens in the past when nasir sir is narrating that i i really think that all the dialogues really effectively bring out a lot of uh, you know what you are you are trying to say as a maker so the dialogue part also was your sort of input in for the for the film so me and vikram both right. uh, you know wrote the so screen play dialogues were uh, you know our joint effort and uh, the broken table basically you know it was it's it's a metaphor yeah. for uh, embracing imperfections you know yes. uh, that's that's what we thought was the crux of the film and uh, in fact in fact uh, designing the title took us a while uh, we we weren't sure of uh, you know which direction to go in and yeah. uh, finally we agreed that this is the best way to go but uh, yeah it, it it's uh, title designing title is is the most difficult thing for me on a film to be honest i am i agree at, with you you know, I agree. I have some very bad yeah. ideas, and uh, then people <laughs> tell me, tell me that you got nuts, you can't do this, <laughs> and then I, you know, sanity comes oh back, my. and then we decide on something which. But uh, but yeah, this I mean, is uh, this one perfect. Uh, this I was think, just it just fit well. Yeah, I, th- I think this was yeah. Vikram's uh, Vikram's uh, input. Uh, Broken okay. table was, uh, okay. and for longest time, I I kind of fought him, uh, you know, on this, but uh, we agreed that this is the best way to go. This is the best way. For sure, absolutely. and finally how was the run to the fest the oscars i mean i you uh, you know a lot of awards were won for the broken table but how did the oscars come about like you know going into the long list of the oscar short films how was that like what what did happen what did uh, happen behind the scenes yeah no matter sorry you froze for me for a second i i heard the question about uh, the oscars for the oscars yes okay. yes oh. the journey to cool. so yeah the oscars it was amazing it was uh, it was pretty uh, daunting yeah. as well it was uh, you know because it's it's so huge and you don't know what to do and you know you never uh, really seen it happen you never you know experienced it and uh, you're targeting suddenly you know uh, few hundred jury members i mean academy members they're not technically jury members academy members around the world uh, and uh, you know they're going to decide the fate uh, of the film if it goes to the nominations or not so yeah it suddenly you need a publicist you need a pr person you need you know a social media manager you need a yeah. lot of things yeah uh, thankfully the producers were really supportive and they were willing to fund the whole campaign so right. that really helped Wonderful. but uh, yeah it was uh, you know it, it was a learning experience for sure it was yeah. uh, in, and and you want to give it your best you know uh, the film deserves it uh, you know you don't want, i mean even if you don't believe in the film you know you you have to do your best for the film right because uh, you owe it to the film so yeah. it's uh, yeah. this one thankfully i believed in thing like this one thankfully i had the conviction for as well but uh, yeah so it's you you got to do the best possible and uh, yeah. it's not something which comes naturally to filmmakers like you know not not everyone's good at marketing or not everyone oh, yeah. you know cuz your 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 yeah your your, uh, your core skill is you know creating your core skill is filmmaking yeah. so uh, you have to learn and learn a yeah. lot of things you know so, yeah. Yeah. things which you are uncomfortable with uh you know like like just you have to put yourself out there you have to just yeah. uh, make sure everyone you know knows about the film you make enough noise yeah. about it yeah. and uh, and then you might have a shot so yeah it didn't make it to the short list but, uh, but you know it got, got but the mileage was amazing elected. you know yeah i mean lot of uh, media outlets in india covered it and yes. sony production houses called me and they want you know they told me they want to work with me and you know let's let's see what we can collaborate uh, with you on So yeah, it's in, even internationally. Yeah. You know, I got in touch with a lot of producers, okay. and you know, a uh, lot of people got in touch with me on their own. So mm-hmm. you know, just to see how this whole you know uh, thing works yeah. was quite something. I don't know if I will uh, ever do a Oscar campaign again, but uh, just this one experience was uh, quite something. And uh, yeah, never say never. You hmm. never know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, uh, maybe for a feature film. Yes, absolutely. Hmm. So you know, for the for the benefit of uh, the audience who's listening to this chat and people who are really out there making short films, uh, this whole um, sort of run to the Oscars, how how does that work out? How does that you know wh- what is the procedure like? Like you know, just for their uh, knowledge, if you could just you know share that with them as to you know how does one go about it? Sure, I think it would be great. Sure. So uh, the most organic way to uh, you know uh, go there is to win at a Oscar qualifying festival, right. which is which is what we the did. Bangal- uh, basically, Bangal- yeah. So basically, uh, the Academy would pick few festivals around the world. Okay. Where they would say that if you win this festival, then you go in the long list. Right. So those are uh, you know uh, I mean there are quite a few, uh, quite a few around the world, but there's only one in India. 
and uh, but what they are really premier festivals which academy you know has vetted and they have decided that the, the quality is good enough and if a winner there right. uh, is is good enough to kind of go into the long list so right. that is the most organic way to go to a long list and mm-hmm. uh, after the long list you know uh, they have few months of uh, you know time for the members members to just watch the films and from that the select around 15 which go to the short list and uh, from that 15 further there's a short list where five are selected as nominations okay. so so there are different rounds of voting and right. in fact this this year they opened it up to more branches normally it's only okay. the short film branch and the animation branch which will vote for it okay. but okay. this year they opened it to producing and directing branch as well okay. so a lot more people voted for it which completely changed the game normally you know, all the pr people everyone would target that one community which is mostly la new york based uh, academy members but suddenly now producing directing anyone who opts in can come and vote uh, you know which is like pool of uh, few thousands you know right. i think overall some 900 plus people opted to vote from the academy oh, members lovely. this year so and they are so widely distributed that uh, it's difficult to really target them all wow uh, but and yeah so that's one way and the other way is uh, is a very expensive way which is to do like a theatrical oh. release in oh. la and uh, do like a one week of ticketed event to meet the the post that you can apply and uh, then if you make it then you you know reach the list but uh, yeah that's that's uh, quite expensive so if you have a producer which can uh, who's willing to go that extra mile then sure but otherwise it's better to target the local uh, festival the festival around yes. around mm-hmm. the world not just local around the world okay. you could you don't have to be based in india to apply to an indian right. festival uh, or uh, you know uh, you, you could apply to an la one as well and win yeah. there and still uh, reach the long list Right. So yeah, it's pretty democratic like that, and uh, so yeah, that's that's the way we did it. it. Must be such a thrill, no? When you got to know that the film has been selected, yeah. must yeah, I'm sure it, it must be thrilling. It was, it was, it was, it was quite thrilling. Yeah. Wonderful. Mm-hmm. So Chandan, tell us about yourself. I believe you were a banker before becoming a yeah, film yeah. person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I used to be in investment banking. Wow. I used to work in London with UBS, uh, and uh, before that uh, with Edelweiss and J P Morgan in Mumbai. So few years I spent in financial services. So from bank, and, uh, banking to creative field, how did that transition happen? So I used to uh, like love uh, you know performing arts in general. I used right. to do like plays for my school. I used to act as well. So that uh, bug was always there, but I never knew anyone in my circle around who yeah. had made a career out of it ever. I, yeah. I used to live in Baroda, so no, so there, there was there was there were no examples around me. There were no role models around me. So right. I just thought of it yeah. as a hobby, as something that you yeah. do to just have fun. Yeah. And uh, but I guess I started doing well in the finance sector. Uh, that gave me the confidence that you know what I probably can uh, do well in something else as well. And uh, I had no idea how I would be. I probably still don't. <laughs> uh, but I knew that I would be happier, uh, you know, making films. Uh, so yeah, that I, I took the plunge. We are and here. I am. We are glad that you took that transition and jumped over to the creative side because you know you're creating such good stuff Thank you. Um, for yeah. us to see. So um, tell us about what next. I mean, you don't have to reveal the names or anything, but uh, is there something interesting that's coming up that we should keep a lookout? So, so yeah, they're mostly working on web series uh, currently, Achha. mostly uh, writing. Okay. There's also a uh, also a feature script which I'm uh, developing with someone. Okay. And uh, there are commercials which I'm directing. I recently directed one for Titan, which uh, just came out some time back. Okay. And uh, but otherwise, yeah, just long format. There's one in the supernatural sci-fi space which just wow. finished uh, produ- oh, production. Wow. So that should hopefully release uh, either end of this year or okay. maybe sometime early next year. Okay. So yeah, that's that's uh, that should be the first one which will come out. Uh, okay. But yeah, other than that, there are two three other projects which are under development yeah. at different stages. Yeah. And uh, but yeah, I'm hoping to direct more. I'm currently getting more writing work, Ex- which I'm enjoying. But, Lovely. Uh, but yeah, I want to direct more, and I'm primarily a director who also writes. Yeah. But, uh, who's taught himself to write? But uh, yeah, I think people are seeing me more as a writer currently. Yeah. So that works as well. I think the self-taught skills are. the best because it's just coming out from your own life and you know you kind of if you're doing something that you love then you definitely excel and you know which you are doing and setting an example for so many other people who want to take the switch and are scared to really jump over to the other side um 
Yeah, I mean, I my my simple uh, motto was that I don't want to look forward to a weekend. You know, I would I I want to uh, you know I, I I don't want to like have a tough working week and then just have two days in a week to enjoy. You know, I I want to have a good time doing everything I yeah. do on a on a, on a regular basis. You know, I I want to look forward to a Monday. I want to you know go to work and be excited about that. Right. So so that is something which drove my decisions and and I I figured that you know I I. I think I will be able to make money wherever I go. I'll be able to figure out, you know, uh, things to do. Even if, say, the direction vocation doesn't work, I'll find periphery of getting into production, getting into other things. Uh, you know, those things can be figured out. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, you, uh, it, it, it is, it is a risk. I wouldn't uh, say it's not. But uh, yeah, you got to hustle. Yeah. You got to, you know, just uh, find your own way yeah. through it. I yeah. Guess. So for the longest time, I've been wanting to see Tere Bin Laden, and then when I saw that you worked on it. i was very very uh, intrigued uh, how did that come about because you know that's something that had had got so i remember so many people were talking about it at that time so and still so i worked on this i worked on the sequel of tirbin lade acha uh, yeah not okay. the first one uh, and uh, at the time i was a assistant director okay. i was the second assistant director on that and i have actually assisted on quite a few films yeah. assisted for anand tarun don to assisted right. uh, abhishek sharma on two films uh, tirbin lade being one of them and even mohit suri so that, that's how i started right. after i came back from london i i started assisting i had to test the water that to understand i have never seen a film shoot before right. so i had to go and at least understand how the whole thing works then i went to film school i uh, studied uh, you know motion picture production specializing in direction uh, so that's how i spent two years at westing woods and uh, and yeah post that i've uh, after appointed decided i'm not going to assist anymore and i'm just going to focus on independent work right so yeah so that's what i've been doing since last few years yes. so cool anything that you've been watching these days that you would like to share and you know something that really ca- catches your eye oh uh, right now watching something which is uh, actually a, a classic uh, you know it it's something which most people probably probably would have seen uh, sopranos, sopranos. You know, I'm, I'm little <laughs> late to the game But मैंने अभी आया मैं तो शुरू भी नहीं किया but don't watch it so yeah I mean I I love uh, yeah. crime based shows so uh, I mean I'm a huge fan of uh, Vince Gilligan's you know work like Better Call Saul and uh, Breaking Bad mm-hmm. and uh, I think some great work happening in India yes. as well I recently saw uh, yeah. Kala Pani uh, I've, uh, I've got a chance to work with Samir also long back uh, but uh, yeah so it, it's some amazing work happening here. and i'm hoping to be yeah. part of you know few of those projects here as well do you get the time to watch like do you get like enough time to you know watch what's going on yeah i mean i you have to kind of Create find time, time uh, yeah. there's sometimes sometimes you know for weeks you don't end up watching anything but then you know sometimes you binge watch for a weekend and then nothing for a while right. so it it's uh, the uh, thing is uh, see it's it all uh, dep- it all depends on the project that yeah. you're on sometimes there are deadlines and you can't do anything for like you know, yeah. forget Everything else is happening yeah. in your life for some weeks, yeah. and uh, sometimes there's a week where you know it's it's all just you're developing spec stuff, you know, where you were just going to develop something for uh, pitching maybe three months down the line. Yeah. So yeah, that that's more flexible time, and you can uh, create. I mean, you can watch some more content at that time. Right. Right. Guys, anybody wants to ask Chintan anything? I think they'll hope a bunch of your friends, Chintan, who've joined. Uh, hey, Karan, Karan Gaur, and then and we have. A- अच्छे से बात कर आई डोंट नो यू मस्ट बी योर फ्रेंड ब्रोकन टेबल मैन लाइक ऑल द लव इमोजीज एंड देन देयर इज करण जी इफ यू जस्ट हाय करण जी ट्रोल्ड करण जी सिंग सो प्राउड ऑफ यू चिंतन एनीवन एनीबॉडी वांट्स टू से समथिंग शेयर समथिंग आई थिंक द लॉट ऑफ पीपल हैव जॉइंड जी विद योर हाय करण जी हाय धीरज हाय थैंक्स ये ऑल योर फ्रेंड्स हैव कम थैंक्स गाइस for joining in and encouraging uh, chintan and uh, being a part of this live and um, thank you so much chintan for uh, sharing the broken table uh, uh, you know with us also to uh, you know stream it on the bangra film festival and we hope to uh, see more of your work and uh, want to see you in person as well kaise ho sir okay someone has messaged i have yeah, right. worked with machinder he was uh, one of the actors in shunyata okay. which i did with jackie shroff and right. so, uh, jackie sir and him both were the lead actors in shunyata okay. so hi machinder how are you yay great so this was such so lovely uh, chintan thank you so much for your time and uh, we hope we can catch you for another live or another film that has probably 
for which that you know you probably win the oscars so just keep that thing alive in you because kuch never say never and uh, you know i really want i'm taking back this one line that uh, the one rule that uh, was mentioned at in the broken table guys it says tum jaise bhi ho kafi ho i think i really really took that back with me and uh, i hope you guys watch it uh, please watch the film it's fantastic it's amazing leave your comments in the comment section and we shall definitely pass it on to the writer director here yeah. thank you so much and then any thank last so words thank you for having us here and uh, really appreciate uh, i'm glad you guys like the film and love to curate it and i love the fact that you are supporting independent cinema and uh, yeah i mean I'm, whatever help i can i'm uh, thank you thank you thank you so much thank you take care until next thank time you see, you. see you bye bye bye, bye. bye.